When we think crown jewels, we usually think of Great Britain. But this list has got some exquisite crowns and tiaras, all sporting a very rich history. 15 Captivating Crowns from Monarchies Around the World 15. Legend has it Like this one from Italy, known as the Iron Crown of Lombardy. No one actually knows the exact history of this powerful crown, but some believe that the crown is made from the nails that were used to make the cross that Jesus was crucified on. A more likely story is that it was made for the daughter of Emperor Louis the Pious, called Gisela, sometime during the 9th century. 14. Crowning Glory This busy crown is the crown of St. Wenceslas, and it was made in 1347. It was made for Charles V, who at the time was the Holy Roman Emperor. His kingdom included parts of Germany, Austria, Ukraine, Poland, Hungary and Italy. It's made with 22 karat gold, has 19 sapphires, a ruby, 44 spinels, which is very similar to a ruby, 30 emeralds and 20 pearls. 13. Fit for a Princess Empress Josephine's cameo tiara is truly exquisite and it would be the dream of any little girl to own one just like this. This tiara was a gift given to Empress Josephine of France by Napoleon. It features loads of pearls and several mythological figures, including Cupid. Josephine's granddaughter ended up marrying King Oscar I of Sweden in 1823. Since then, it has become a permanent feature at Swedish royal weddings. Crown Princess Victoria looked absolutely breathtaking in the crown when she got married to Daniel Westling in June 2010. 12. Spell of Bad Luck You might have heard about King John the Bad, aka King John of England. He became known for starving many of his captives, including wives and children of his friends. Well, he had a huge supply of expensive jewels, and in 1216 he had to make a trip through the boggy fens of eastern England. During this time he fell ill, and he and his team were in a hurry to get across when they came upon quicksand, and his baggage carts containing all of his jewels and his crown went under. He died a few days after that, but that crown has never been found since. 11. Tale as old as time this is one of the more well-known crowns, and it's been said that it was from the melted gold taken from King Edward's crowns. Made in 1661, this crown, which boasts 444 jewels, has had an exciting life. This crown was so heavy that for nearly 200 years, it was carried during the coronation procession. But it has been made much lighter since, and now it weighs roughly 5 pounds. 10. A firm favorite The Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara is one of the Queen's favorites, and it was originally given to Queen Mary in 1893 by the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland. These girls had a committee who got together and raised the £5,000 which purchased this beauty. The tiara is also fondly called Granny's Tiara, and when Princess Elizabeth was about to get married, her granny gave her the pearls from the original tiara. The tiara is said to be light and easy to wear. We'll have to take her word for it. 9. If the crown fits? This is the Malerio floral tiara from Spain, and it's so delicate and pretty. It's not old or steeped in history like some of our previous ones, but was only made in 1962. It was a gift from the Spanish people to Princess Sofia, and it can function as a necklace and brooches as well. 8. Bow down You'll know you're dealing with royalty if anyone is near you wearing this intimidating piece. The Danish crown jewels have several pieces making it up, including three crowns, a scepter, orb, sword and ampulla. The sword dates back to 1551, making it the oldest piece. This is the crown of the absolute monarchs and was made by Paul Kurtz in Copenhagen in 1670. 7. Not going to happen When Finland gained independence from Russia in 1917, it was thought that a monarchy would be put in place. That is really the story in a nutshell, of course. Finland eventually became a republic, but not before a drawing had been made of what the crown would look like. In the 1980s, a replica was made of the crown, and this is what it would have looked like. 6. Treated like royalty This beautiful crown was made for King Maximilian I of Bavaria, and he had it made for himself. This crown has seen its dark Wittelsbach diamond stolen and sold many times, and at this stage, a glass replica is standing in its place. The crown is valued at $17 million and has many rubies, pearls, sapphires, and diamonds. 
5. Blue Blood This crown from Hungary has been used for as long as anyone can remember, and a king wasn't recognized as such until he was crowned with it. Although it's not bustling with fine jewels, the artwork on this crown is beautiful. It's known as the Holy Crown of Hungary or also the Crown of St. Stephen. It now sits at the Hungarian Parliament building. 4. A king is not complete without his queen. And any queen would look beautiful in this intricate tiara. It was created for a noble who was going to wear it at the coronation of Napoleon Bonaparte and then worn by the Swedish royals as well as the Danish. It now sits in Princess Mary's collection and in 2010 she made it a little more compact and used the excess pieces to create a new ring and hairpins. 3. Kingpin the Korean crown jewels date back a very, very long time ago, thought to have been made somewhere between the 5th and the 7th centuries. They're exceptionally fragile and also very heavy. The crown is made of two parts, an outer protruding part and a cap part from the middle. It's made from gold and forms part of the crown jewel collection, which also has other crowns, girdles, belts and other fragile, important pieces of history. 2. Prince Charming The first time the Imperial Crown of Russia made an appearance was in 1762 when Catherine the Great was coronated. Sadly, they lost their beautiful crown to Ireland when it was used as collateral. They did eventually get the crown back and in 1950 it was returned to Moscow. 1. Back to your childhood This crown looks a lot like the ones you would draw as a kid, only much, much nicer. This forms part of the Norwegian crown jewels and also includes other items. The crown has an emerald, ruby, topaz, alexandrite and a white opal. It was originally made for Crown Prince Carl in 1846 and some reports claim the crown has never actually been worn. Which of these beautiful crowns was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And subscribe to our channel for more informative videos just like this. Thanks for watching.